Hey guys, my name is Bryce. I'm going to be your second Thursday guy on Ambiguity. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of an intro and then I'm going to work my way into uh, this week's topic. So, my name is Bryce. I'm 21. I'm from Hillsborough, New Jersey. Um, I've been on T for eight years. Or not eight years. Holy crap. Sorry, guys. Eight, eight months. Um... I had top surgery uh, June 12th of 2014. Um, that went really well. It was in Florida with Dr. Garamoni. Um, there are some complications right now with my chest. I got a very small uh, post-op infection, which I'm still waiting for it to kind of close up. But uh, it's getting there. It sucks, but it's getting there. Um, although, besides that, I am really happy with my results. Um, what else? I have a girlfriend that I've been with for two and a half years this month. Her name is Shelby. I've known her since seventh grade, so that's ten years. Um, and she's been fantastic throughout my whole entire transition. Uh, maybe I'll get her in a few of my videos later on. Um, what else? Um, I like to play drums, guitar. I play a little bit of piano, but not much anymore. Uh, I have an obsession with hats. I have a lot. Different kinds. I have fitted, snapbacks, beanies, uh, detective's hat. Sometimes I steal Shelby's captain hat. I like shoes. Lots and lots of skate shoes. All the time. That's all I wear. Nothing else. I shop at Vans and Zoomies. And that is about it. And I have an obsession with tattoos and band t-shirts. Um, I don't have a lot of tattoos right now. I have five. Um, but that's just because money... Money, money, money. Lots of money. Don't have money. Need money. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is about it. Besides the fact that I have a huge music obsession. I love music. All the time. I am humming music, whistling music. I'm drumming out beats on, like, counters, tables, my, my legs, with my fingers, anything. Um, I play music all the time. I live... If my iPod is not connected to my car, then I am playing CDs. If I'm at home, I'm playing th th playing music through my laptop, Pandora on my phone, anything. Always. Love it. Love it. Love it. All the time. But, anyway, on to this week's topic. I'm not texting. I'm just checking the topic on my phone, so don't judge me, okay? Um, Alright. The first people that I came out to... Uh, I'm going to do two people. Um, technically, the first person, well, the first person was my girlfriend. Um, it was senior year, so I was about 18, and we had this class. It was an elective called Gender Studies with one of my favorite teachers. Um, and you talk about relationships and LGBT things and, like, gender roles, like, stereotypical gender roles, but, like not in a stereotypical way, like trying to break the stereotypical gender roles for men and women, trying to give the students like a better idea of why men aren't better than women and vice versa and all that. Um, but one week we talked about transgender people and we were talking about dysphoria and like FTM and MTF and different surgeries and hormones and all that and how people feel and there were articles that we read about people talking about oh like I felt like I was a boy or I felt like I was a girl since I was young <laughs> and my girlfriend at the time leans over and whispers like pokes me in the arm and just goes that's you and at the time I was like no -uh, no it's not and like I was in such denial but in my head, it was like this weird epiphany type sensation where I had suppressed all of these emotions and all of these feelings and memories 
from when I was a little kid that I literally didn't remember until we talked about that in class. And all these things just came flooding back to me, and I just couldn't believe it. And from that day on, I literally just did a buttload of research on it and actually became quite obsessed with watching different guys' transitions through YouTube because I love YouTube. I live on YouTube. And that just kind of became like this really helpful aid to me. It, that, it, it got me through the day when I was upset because I wasn't on testosterone yet. Um, but I sat down with her, um, maybe like a few weeks later, and I asked her, like, does me wanting to transition and me feeling like I was supposed to be born a boy bother you? Like, it, does it weird you out or anything? And she looks at me and she goes, like, are you stupid? Like, no, of course not. Like, you're just B to B. You've always just been B. B is my nickname. Um... And she's like, boy or girl, you're just B. You're my best friend. You're my favorite person in the whole wide world. You're always there for me. Why would that one little thing ruin a whole entire friendship? And I was like, okay, like, yeah, you're right. Like, you got a point. And she's like, yeah, duh, I have a point. Like, we've been friends since seventh grade. Like, why would this bother me now? Because at the time, I was only out as gay. Um, which again, didn't bother her. She was like, okay, you're still a human. You know, you didn't kill anyone, so who cares? Um, but then the second person I told was my best friend named Brittany. She was the grade below me. And we were hanging out one night, and I think she was waiting to get picked up to go home because she couldn't drive yet. And I didn't have a car. Um, so we're sitting outside on my driveway, and I was like, hey, like... Can I tell you something before you leave? She goes, okay. I sit her down, and I said, so for a really long time now, I've been having these feelings about my gender. And she goes, okay. And I go, I feel like I'm a boy. Like, I feel like a guy, but I clearly was not born a guy and she goes all right and so I told her everything like how I'm trans and I want to transition and I want to start hormones and how I have really bad chest dysphoria and she starts crying and goes oh my god like please don't hurt yourself or anything like I can't lose you you're my best friend like you're like my you're like my big brother and so I said well like, what are you talking about and she told me a story about um, an MTF uh, female who went to school with her mom when her mom was in high school. And he, before he could transition, he was basically like a crossdresser. And he would wear, you know, female clothes and heels and necklaces and makeup and the whole shebang. And he probably looked absolutely fantastic. But he was terrorized so much that he actually took his own life. I don't know why I keep saying he. I'm so sorry. I'm thinking of something else. But she took her own life. I'm sorry. Um, and so my friend was worried that I was going to take my own life. And I'm like, dude, I've been out to people since, like, freshman year about me being gay. I had an open, openly gay relationship with this last girl that I was with back in high school. Like, do you really think? Shut up. No, I'm not going to do that. And so she was, she's cool with that too. She's like, all right, so now I have an older brother instead. I'm cool with that. Um, so my friends are awesome about my transition. Like they ask me questions all the time. I'm very open about it. Like nothing really offends me. Like I'll correct them if they word something incorrectly or I'll tell them, hey, like I don't care if you ask me that, like, or if you say say it in that way, but if you ask another guy that, most likely you're gonna get some kind of backlash from them because most of the time you have to be a bit careful of how you word things. Um but the way that I told my parents, I was actually on tea for two weeks already and I wasn't living at home yet again. Um, and so I left them this really long 
written out letter to them. And I was over there, well, my house, because I live back at home. Um, I was over my house, and I left it on the counter before I left. And my dad was actually still awake, and I was really hoping he wasn't. And I hid it behind something that, thankfully, was on the counter. And it was all folded and everything, so he couldn't see it. Left it there. And it told them that I'm already on testosterone. I've been on it for two weeks. Where I go, I go to the Mazzoni Center in, in uh, Philadelphia. Um, like, basically, a very quick summary of, like, hey, I felt like this since I was, like, three years old. Um, basically, that whole thing. And then I gave them a bunch of links and YouTube channels and information for parents of trans kids, basically, and all that. Um... Personally, I would suggest doing that if you are absolutely terrified, because I was absolutely terrified. I almost had a panic attack over it. Um, if you're, and I, I also don't have that huge, like, really close relationship with my, with my parents either. So, it was just easier that way. I'm bad with confrontation like that. Um, but this video is getting really long. But I personally recommend a letter. That's all I'm saying. But I'm not going to tell you how to tell your parents do whatever you feel is comfortable personally um but my name is Bryce I'm going to be your Thursday guy and uh that's about it because I'm really awkward maybe that'll change all right see you guys